This workaround will fix an issue in new quizzes where students say they can't see an image on your test, even though you can see it just fine. To fix it, I'm going to show you how to put images in a different folder that will let students in different classes see the image when you put it on a quiz or a test. First, find your quiz. If it's a new quiz, it will have a filled in rocket ship. Click on your quiz name and then click on the blue button at the bottom right corner that says build. If you don't see these things, then you are using classic quizzes, so this video won't be quite as helpful to you. You may have noticed that you get an error message when you try to put a question in an item bank for the first time, or when you edit a question in the item bank and try to save. The error says, you are attempting to add content containing course links, which may not work when used in other courses. New Quizzes has a design flaw where uploading images from within a quiz automatically puts them in a folder that Canvas calls the course folder. Sometimes this works just fine, but sometimes it can prevent students who aren't in the same course from seeing the images on your test. If it works for you right now, there's no reason you cannot keep doing it this way. But if students start to say that they can't see the images, this workaround should fix it. First, go to the top left and click the Account button. Then, find the link to Files. I prefer to right-click it, and then say Open in a new tab. When I do that, it opens this new tab up at the top that you can click on to see your files. This will take you to what Canvas calls your user files, meaning they live in your Canvas account, not just in one particular course. You can click on any folder on the left, and it will open here on the right. At first, you will begin in a folder called My Files. If you want to, you can click on the Upload button to upload your images right here, and they will go in your My Files folder, and it will work just fine. However, if you don't like the idea of having all your images from all your quizzes mixed in together, you can optionally create folders to organize your images by class. Click the plus folder button, then type in your class name and click the check mark to create a folder that's named after your class. Then, click on the folder you just created to open it up. From the top left, you will see that my screen is now showing the inside of a folder called FSC103. To upload my images to this folder, I can click here, or I can click the Upload button. It's totally optional, but if you want to organize your files even more, you can again click the plus folder button, and this time, name the folder after a specific quiz, test, or exam. Again, click the check mark to save it, and click the folder name to open it up. Now you can see we are inside a folder named Chapter 1 Quiz, which is inside the FSC 103 folder. Right now the folder is empty, so to upload my images, I'm going to click the Upload button. Then find the image I want from my file explorer, then click Open. You can upload multiple images at once by clicking the Upload button, then holding down the Control key and selecting Multiple Images. Now, when I click Open, it will upload all of them at once. To upload to a different folder, I can expand or collapse the folder names to the left to see all the folders and subfolders that I've created, then click on any of them to take me to that folder. Now that my images are uploaded, I need to get back to editing my quiz question. Since I opened my Files page in a new tab earlier, I can just click back to the previous tab where my quiz is still open and ready for me to edit it. Now I'm going to delete the image that wasn't working by hitting the Backspace button. To replace it, click the Insert Image icon, and instead of Upload Image, we're going to choose User Images. This will open a sidebar with all the images from all folders in my user files. By default, it's sorted by date added, so all the most recently uploaded images are at the top, but you can also sort it alphabetically if you wish. Now, just click on the image that you want to insert, and click the X at the top corner to close the sidebar. Now, I won't get that error message when I either try to add that question to an item bank, or, if I'm already editing the question in an item bank, I'll be able to save, and it won't give me the error message. If you use a lot of similar-looking images on your quizzes, 
Here's a tip to make them easier to find and make sure you insert the right image into the right question. Before I upload my images to Canvas, I can rename them and give it a code where 103 stands for my 103 class, T01 for test one, Q01 for question one. Now you can make up your own shorthand, but just know that anything longer than nine characters might get cut off. Now if I go back to my quiz and find user images, I can see my shorthand in the image name so I know exactly which class, test, and question I have to insert this into. This also makes it easy to use the search bar to find a specific test or question number.